Hello and welcome to the last part of our top 10 FCAT topics. Since this is our last part, I'm going to reveal the last two clues of our puzzle. Like all, If you've been watching all the videos, you can fit these clues together. L is our second last clue. One more to go and you'll be able to figure out the puzzle, possibly claim a prize. All right, and our second last topic is polygons and triangles. One thing to remember is that the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle equals 180. Remember, angles are on the inside of a triangle, not the outside. The outside is sides, angles inside. Uh, so that's just how they indicate the measurements. Polygons can be fitted together to form triangles, and there are always two less triangles than sides to a polygon using the 180 times the quantity n minus 2 equation to find the sum of the measures of all angles of a polygon if n is equal to the number of sides. Okay, so that's the formula that's on the bottom of the reference sheet that you can use if, you deal, if you're dealing with polygons and trying to find angles in a polygon. And if it is a regular polygon, regular polygon meaning all sides are the same, all angles are the same, you can use 180 times the quantity of n minus 2 and that is all over n, in which n is the number of sides of a polygon. So, let's see these problems in action. Well, this problem is, has a lot of variables, a lot of numbers, and it's trying to find what is the value of b, which is here, and d, adding those up. One thing I would say that we can ignore is this A doesn't look like it's going to help us anything because we just want to know what B plus D is. And for B, we know this. We know there's a right angle, which is 90 degrees, 60 degrees, and there's B. And we should also know that B is a missing angle, so 90 for the right angle plus 60 plus B equals 180. When we add 90 and 60, we get 150. Subtract that from both sides, like so. We get B is equal to 30. All right, so we are partway there. Now we need to find D. All right, in order to do that, I'm going to have to make some room and erase some of this work. If you needed it, just rewind the video. It's a video, don't be lazy. Or you can just hit pause right before I do it. All right, so if that is 30, we can calculate these values, C and D, and we really just need D, but we need to find C also. You should be able to see that angle 60 and angle C form a linear pair or they make supplementary angles because they add up to 180 degrees. And they make this straight line here. That's your indication of when two angles added up together give you 180. So if this angle is 60, we can subtract 60 from 180 and whatever is left will be C. C equals 120. That's useful because now that we have C, we know that 22 plus 120 plus whatever D is will give us a total of 180. Okay, and I'm just going to add these two up. That's 142. Subtracting 180 and 142, we get D is equal to 38. Now, is that the answer to either question? Nope, it's B plus D. So we have to add 30 plus 38 or answer of 68. Did you get that? Did you understand it? If not, rewind, pause, ask questions of the people around you. So, we can use that formula I was telling you about, the 180 n minus 2, and I know to use that because I'm dealing with a polygon here. We have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sided figure, that is a hexagon, so, if I want to know what all the angles are, I'm just going to plug this in here. 6 is the number of sides, minus 2 times 180. 6 minus 2 is 
4 and 180 times 4 will give us 720. So 720 is the measure of all the degrees. That's great, but I just want to know in particular this angle. It is a regular hexagon, so all of these angles are the same. So I'm going to divide it by 6 to find the measure of one of the angles. And 720 divided by 6 should give us 120 degrees. Is that the answer for the value of x? Well, no. It looks like, sure, that angle is 120. But we have to divide it up by 1, 2, 3, 4. Four different angles. So 120 divided by 4 means that x equals... 30 degrees. Did you get that? Would you be able to solve a problem like this? I hope so. Just look on your reference sheet for this formula and then if you need an individual angle you would just divide it by n, the number of sides. Alright, your turn. See if you can solve a problem like this. Yes, there are triangles. Yes, this could be a polygon. See if you can find the value of x. So, did you get this one right? Correct answer is B, 36 degrees. It was a doozy. Let me explain. We start with our 180 times n minus 2 to find what all the angles are. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sides. So 5 minus 2 is 3 times 180 is 540. Then we just start subtracting out all of these angles, including the 90, and we get 78. Okay? So that's what's left here. We can figure out what this is because this is part of a triangle. And if you so triangles add up to 180 degrees, subtract out 90, subtract out 48, you get 42. So we don't need to know this part, we need to know the difference. So 78 minus 42 is how we get our 36. Did you get it right? If you did, wow. And that is the end of our topic two. Think about this comic a little bit. Hmm, Pi being in trouble, getting yelled at by his mom. Hmm, it's hilarious. All right, we're down to our last topic. And of course, our last clue is the letter H. So take all those clues that we've used so far, put it together, they're all scrambled up to make a secret message. Tell me what that message is and you can win a prize. All right, our last topic has to do with angles and transversals. Key vocabulary, first of all, supplementary angles. Supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. How can we remember that? Well, see that S? I'm gonna draw a line through that S, and it kind of makes an eight, as in 180. And supplementary angles add up to 180. Hello. All right, the next part is complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. If I draw a line here, I'm kind of making a nine for 90. Complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. And vertical angles are congruent. Those are the ones that look like scissors. Corresponding angles are congruent, you will see that. And if parallel lines are cut by a transversal, transversal cuts through them, the measures of the angles are either going to be congruent or supplementary to it. Supplementary, of course, just means they add up to 180. So we have to either subtract from 180 or see if your angle is congruent. They're really very easy, but um, just you only have a couple guesses. So know when to subtract or just make it equal. Here's a perfect example. A diagram of a fence is shown below. The vertical slats of the gate are parallel and they are being cut by this transversal. What is the measure of angle one in degrees? Well, we know that this is 125 degrees. And since they said these are parallel, that means that this line is parallel to this line. This is our transversal. All right. If this angle, 125, right here is 125, then this angle will also be 125 because they are what are called corresponding angles. 
looking at our drawing, here's our, par here's our transversal. This angle is above the transversal. This angle is above the transversal. It's to the left of our parallel line. This is to the left of our parallel line. When they are in that same position like that, they are called corresponding. Oh, you saw on the last slide. Corresponding. It looks perfectly written off the screen. You just you gotta trust me. So 125 is a measure of that angle. We don't want to know that angle. We want to know this angle. Well, this 125 here and this angle will make a straight line. And because that make a straight line, they are supplementary. And supplementary angles add up to 180. So our key is we're going to subtract from 125. 180 minus 125 gives us 55. All right, so the measure of angle 1 is 55. And again, I really only had two guesses for this, 55 or 125. Okay, so at least get yourself down to those multiple choice, just those, those two guesses on a problem like this. All right, now it's your turn. See if you can answer a problem like this. It's just like the one we just did. All right, hit pause. So, what'd you get? The correct answer is 165. That's because we have two parallel lines cut by this transversal. If this angle is 15 degrees, the angle we make here, because it makes a linear pair or they are supplementary, is 180 minus 15 degrees, which is 165. Now this angle is going to go into that angle because they are corresponding. They're both below the parallel line and to the right of the transversal. So correct answer, 165 degrees. Woohoo! Did you get it? Alright, now this problem involves perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines mean they intersect at right angles. So these are the angles formed. What is the measure of angle 2? Alright, uh, in order to answer this we need to know about what are called vertical angles. So they're like scissors, so picture these are like the handles of the scissors. And these are the blades. And when you open scissors really wide, the blades open really wide. So this angle is going to be the same as number 1, which is 24. We're trying to find angle 2. And we know that since this is a right angle, this must also be a right angle, which means that they add up to 90. So if I want to find angle 2 here, I'm going to subtract whatever we know from 90. So 90 minus 24 is going to give us 66. Sorry, I couldn't see it. Alright, this is your turn. Again, dealing with perpendicular lines. What is the measure of angle B? E, C. Hit pause, figure it out. I'll tell you in a second. Did you get B? 47? If you did, that's great. B, E, C is here. And combined with A, E, B, these are combined to make a right angle, which means they are complementary. Good job. And we are down to our last comic says, little boy says, Dad, it's so cold in here. Go stand in the corner. Why? And in this super creepy look of all time, he says, the corner is 90 degrees. It's so funny. All right, you've just learned about 10 FCAT topics. These are probably where you'll see the most of the material on FCAT. Good luck. If you need to, go back and study them. I know you guys are going to rock the FCAT. It's going to be nothing. And I will leave you with this picture. This is especially for you, Briani, because I know you read the book. There's nothing in here about how to kill a mockingbird. It's so sad. All right, guys. Good luck on the FCAT.